Hello, everybody. Jason with Learn Survive. I hope you guys are doing well, staying safe, taking care of yourself, and more importantly, taking care of one another. So with the year starting to wind down, I look back over my YouTube channel, and I know I haven't posted that many videos. Between unexpected things come up, and the economy, the inflation, and, and everything, it's taken from all of us. It has taken money that used to be uh, disposable income and discretionary income and shifted it over to necessities. And that makes it hard for someone like me because I do not have sponsorships and I do not make money off YouTube. And I am okay with that because I don't like complying with all the rules that are uh, that you have to follow when you're uh, making money off YouTube. And I don't like the fact that most of the companies, when they send you something to review, send you a script of what they want you to say and how great the product is. I'd rather buy it out of my own pocket and be honest about it. Let's take this uh, knife here made by UST. If this was sent to me with a script and saying, oh, this is the greatest knife in the world, I'd be lying to you. Is it an okay knife? Yeah, it's an okay knife. It's a very light use knife. It don't lock open in any way. It's a copy of the Opnel. And you know, you've got this little thin piece of metal that uh, slides over and kind of locks it in the place. I wouldn't put any uh, whole lot of pressure on that spine because I think it would actually rip through that and close on your fingers, cutting off your fingers. But as a very lightweight knife that you could throw in a toolbox or in the glove box of a car in case you don't have a knife on you and you needed it, but you didn't want to spend a lot of money on a knife. You know, for four or five bucks, it's an okay knife for light duty use. So I wouldn't want to tell you because they sent me the script to review this that, oh, it's the greatest knife. You know, it's the best survival knife you can own in the wilderness or some crazy bullshit like that. So in the next year, I hope this channel is a little bit better and I have plans on buying a video camera. That way, when I am out and I am using the gear, I can record that and show you how it's performing. Right now, all the videos I've done has been on my laptop with the camera that is built in. And that creates a little bit of problem because I can't film and show you what I'm seeing and explain how something's performing with the visuals of it being done because I don't have a video camera or a portable uh, camera like that to do that kind of video. And that's one improvement in the channel that I hope to make in the coming year. If there's anything you'd like to see added to the channel or would like to see more of or less of, let me know down in the comments. I do read all my comments. I don't always get to reply to them all, but I try to. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you want to see more of. Let me know what you want to see less of. Are you interested in more tips and tricks? Or are you interested in more gear? Um, I do this for you guys. I do it for myself, too, you know, because I do take pleasure in creating these videos. But my main goal and main concern is to get you the information on products and on tips and tricks that could save your life. With that being said, I'm going to wrap up this video. I hope you guys are staying safe um, really now more than ever because things are kind of getting crazy out there. Um, just take care of yourself. Leave me a comment what you think and what you'd like to see more of, what you'd like to see less of. I'd really appreciate it. Take care of yourself and take care of one another. Talk to you guys real soon.